In this presentation, we're going to look at three short integration questions. So, calculate the following integrals. First off, I'm just going to remark upon the, how we will calculate these integrals. So, the integral of x to the power of n with, uh, with respect to x dx is equal to x to the power of n plus 1 all over n plus 1. And also we put a coefficient of integration there at the end every time we do an, uh, uh, perform an integration question. Now, the first thing we are going to do is this one here. And uh, we have some coefficients there be before them as well. So just as sort of how we would handle a coefficient, uh, let's say k to the x, k where k is a coefficient like 8, 3, and minus 6, or so on, we actually just pre-multiply it. We don't actually have to do anything with it. So that is straightforward enough. So let's do the first one here. Integral of 8x cubed minus 3x squared plus 6x. Uh, 66 x and that is we're going to break it up into three parts here so in this case here let's work at the side here so in this case here k is equal to 8 and we have n is equal to uh, 3 and therefore n plus 1 is going to equal to 4. Okay, so the integral of that part is, we'll write it down here at the bottom, that is 8 x to the power of n plus 4, or n plus 1, that's 8 to the x plus 4, divide that by 4. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is minus 3x squared. We can actually just leave out the minus uh, as a separate calculation, we'll just leave that out there. And so that is equal to, here in this case, k is equal to 3, k is a constant, x is equal to 2, or sorry, n is equal to 2, and n plus 1 is equal to 3. So in this case, what we have here is 3 times x to the power of 3 divided by 3. And finally, x to the power uh, 6 um, times x at this last case, k is equal to 6, x n is equal to 1, and n plus 1 is equal to 2. So here we have plus 6 times x squared all over 2. Now, I remember I said something about the coefficient of integration. We can actually just, when we're doing a co uh, multiple integrations like this, we can actually only have to put in 1 at the end. So I'm going to put in plus c here at the end. And okay, so let's do. We have to simplify these first off. So eight divided by four is two. So we have two to the power of two uh, x to the power of four minus three divided by three is minus x cubed. The threes cancel out, and six divided by two that's just three. So three x squared plus c. So that there is the answer to the first one. Okay. So the next thing we are going to do is the second one here now. We'll go to a new slide here. Uh, what we have here is definite integral. It's very similar to the last one, except we have these limits here, 0 and 3. So that means we evaluated at both the integral at both 0 and 3 and then find the difference. So just quickly, let's do this first off. Uh, 3x squared minus 8x plus 5. Now, uh, this is very similar to the one I've just done previously, so I'm going to sort of uh, go very quickly through it. Uh, just to remark, though, that in... So, 3x squared, we actually found that already to be equal to um, x cubed. Okay, so that's equal to x cubed, that we actually just done that one the last time, minus 8x, well, we can actually just write that as minus 4x cubed, and again, let's just have a look at that there, just to sort of be clear about it, k is equal to 8, 
n is equal to 1, n plus 1 is equal to 2, and so k times x to the n plus 1 all over n plus 1, that is equal to 8 divided by 2 by x to the power of x squared, and the 8 divided by 2 is 4. And finally, this last one here, 5, this is a coefficient, uh, a single coefficient. Here, x, uh, we just have 5, but we have also have n to the power of 0. So we could actually write 5 as 5 times x to the power of 0. Here, n equal to 0, and n plus 1 is equal to 1. So we can write the integral of that as 5x. Okay, so plus 5 of x. Okay, now what it, we should usually do here is add in the coefficient of integration, but that's an unnecessary step in this case because we're going to take it out now. Uh, it's unnecessary when we do uh, different uh, definite integrals. So what I'm going to do instead here is actually I'm going to write a bracket around this, and I'm going to have three at, up here at the upper limit and zero down here at the bottom limit. So what I'm going to do here is actually evaluate this expression here for when x is equal to three and when x is equal to zero. So what we have here is, and we're going to find the difference between the two. So three cubed minus four x, uh, four times th three squared plus 5 times 3 and we're going to subtract it when x uh, the same expression when we let x equal to 0 so 0 cubed minus 4 times 0 squared plus 5 times 0 you probably fa very quickly figure out that that whole thing there is equal to 0 okay so all we are have to do now is evaluate this here so 3 cubed is 27 Minus 4 times 9 is minus 36, 3 squared three square is 9, and 4 times 9 is 36, plus 5 times 3, that's equal to 15, and that is equal to 6. So the answer to the second one is just equal to 6, okay? 6 minus 0, 6. Okay, that's great. So the last one is a little bit trickier now. And what we have to do is calculate the integral of x plus 5 cubed. Now, you can actually sort of, it's actually, what you could do is actually just work it out, evaluate it, simplify it. But that's going to take a lot of time. So you can do integration with substitution. Okay. So what we're going to do is let u equal to um, x plus 5. So first off, what we have to do is like differentiate both of them, because we have an expression here dx, but we need an expression now in du. Or we need to find du. So du, so we have to do a little bit of differentiation here. du dx is equal to 1. Okay. So du is equal to dx if we just rearrange that expression, multiply both sides by d of x, okay, dx. So what we can actually say is this, that when we let u equal to x plus 5, actually that make that more, look more like an x, put it there like that. When we let u equal to dx, so the integral of x plus 5 cubed dx, we can actually let use uh, this uh, use this here, u cubed du, okay. Now u cubed to the uh, with respect to du, that's equal to u to the power of four divided by four. That's just using the rule we've seen previously. Now we can let x x plus five back into the expression. So the integral is x plus five the power of 4 all over 4. Now, this is not a definite integral. Not a definite integral. So here we put back in the uh, coefficient, uh, the unknown coefficient, the old coefficient of integration. So we put back in plus c there. All right, and that ends the presentation.